Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cropped chunky crochet cardigan. I'm making this cardigan in a size extra small, but for all sizes and written instructions, check the link below for the PDF pattern. You will need Aran worsted weight or 10 ply yarn, a 9mm crochet hook, safety pins or stitch markers, some scissors and a darning needle. For this project I'm using Miller Mia Naturally Soft Aran. We're going to be using two strands of Aran weight yarn, and I chose two different colours so my cardigan would have a mild effect. To begin, create a slip knot and you can do this any way you like. Insert your hook into the slip knot. To start off, chain 32. To create a chain, yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have 32 chains, we're going to half double crochet along row 1. To half double crochet, yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Place one half double crochet in each chain along the row. At the end of the row, you should have 30 stitches. To start row 2, chain 2 and then turn your work. Throughout this pattern, chain 2 does not count as a stitch. Half double crochet into the first stitch. And then half double crochet into every stitch along the row. At the end of the row, you should have 30 stitches. And you're going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 28. And just as a note, the last half double crochet goes on top of the first stitch of the previous round, not in the chain 2. Once you've finished 28 rows of half double crochet, your back piece should look like this. Don't fasten off because we're going to move directly onto the front panels. To begin the front right panel, we're going to chain 2 and then turn. Counting from the hook, I'm going to place a stitch marker in the 14th stitch. I'm going to half double crochet into the next 14 stitches. And remember that the first chain 2 does not count as a stitch. Your last stitch should be in the same stitch as the stitch marker. To start row 2 of the front panel, chain 2 and then turn. When you're at the end of row 28, fold your cardigan in half to make sure the front and back panel are the same length. Fasten off and then turn your work.
Insert your hook two stitches to the left of the stitch marker. From the left side to the hook there should be 14 stitches. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain 2 and then half double crochet into the same stitch as the chain 2. Half double crochet until the end of the row. You should have 14 stitches in total. So you can see that we're starting to create a U shape and to start row 2 of the left panel, chain 2 and then turn. Half double crochet in each stitch along the row. We're going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 28. At the end of row 28, fasten off, and now we're going to move onto the sleeves. To begin, create a slip knot, and you can do this any way you like. Insert your hook into the loop and chain 20. Don't be alarmed if your chain looks a little small because we're working from the cuffs up. Half double crochet into the third chain from your hook and half double crochet until the end of the row. In total you should have 18 stitches. To begin row 2, chain 2 and then turn. Half double crochet in each stitch along the row. And repeat row 2 for row 3. To start row 4, chain 2 and then turn. Place 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. Place one half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row and then place two half double crochet in the last stitch. To begin row five, chain two and then turn half double crochet in each stitch along the row. Repeat row 5 for row 6. And then you're going to repeat rows 4 to 6 until the end of row 28. At the end of row 28, fasten off and leave a long tail of yarn. Repeat these steps for the second sleeve. Once you've finished two sleeves, we're going to attach the sleeves to the body. To do this, I'm going to fold the sleeve in half and line up the middle of the sleeve to the middle of the body panels. Using stitch markers, I'm attaching the sleeves to the body just to make sure it doesn't move while I'm sewing them together. I'm going to thread my darning needle and then I'm using a mattress stitch to sew the two pieces together. And just notice that with a mattress stitch you're always sewing from the inside out.
Once you've finished sewing the two sleeves to the body, fold your cardigan in half. And then use a mattress stitch to sew down the sides of the sleeves and the body. For a neat result, try to make the rows on either side of the sleeves to match up evenly. Once you've finished sewing your cardigan together, turn your work so the neck is facing you. Insert your hook one stitch to the right of the right panel corner. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch as the chain one. Place two single crochets in the corner stitch. Here you can see we're creating a rounded corner. Turn your work, space out single crochets along the right panel of the cardigan. Once you've finished your single crochets along the right panel, turn your work and crochet in each stitch along the back of the cardigan. Turn your cardigan again and then single crochet along the left panel of the cardigan. When you're at the bottom of the cardigan, make sure you place two single crochets in the corner stitch. So we're going to place two single crochets into the corner stitch and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch along the bottom of the cardigan. We're now approaching the beginning of the first ribbing row. So we're placing in our last single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the back loops. Each stitch creates a V and the back loop is the loop furthest away from you. You're going to insert your hook into the stitch and only pick up the back loop. You're going to single crochet into the back loops in each stitch along the round. We're at the end of the round and we're going to slip stitch into the chain one. And then we're going to repeat this round one more time. To finish off the sleeves, we're going to insert our hook into any stitch along the cuff. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. We're going to chain one, 
and then just slip stitch in each stitch along the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the chain one. Fasten off. Repeat these steps for the other sleeve. And you've finished your chunky crochet cardigan.